Hey guys, hope everyone's well. It's a bit cold down here in Australia at the moment, hence the fire. For all you guys that are still in Vegas and loving the uh, the uh, hot weather over there anyway, a bit different down here. But I was, look, I was just uh, reading a post from Barb Schlegel and I uh, was thinking also about um, a comment that I saw the Grippler in Carnegie say uh, the other day when he was live on Hand Control Worldwide. World, worldwide. And as you may know, I'm doing a bit of a project at the moment as well when it comes to... Um, when it comes to getting the sport of arm wrestling off the ground and, and look, getting the sport to the point where athletes can be someday paid. And I just wanted to talk about a couple of things that I heard uh, the Grippler say. Uh, first of all, um, one thing the Grippler said was, look, everyone currently in the arm wrestling world, like 99% of us are doing this for the love of the sport. We're doing this for free. We're not being greedy. Um, we take the opportunities where we get them. But look, if, if we can someday do something that means our our children, our grandchildren, they get to be the beneficiaries uh, and they get to compete in arm wrestling at a level where it's legitimate, then we've done our service. So I know that I'm not going to feel ripped off um, if, we can, if we can pass on to the next generation of arm wrestlers an opportunity to really have a career. So I know right now that there isn't any league out there, anything like that, that's uh, going to be paying us significant amounts of money. But we do have an opportunity if we understand the opportunities that ally in self-promotion, um, local-based media, uh, those sorts of things, we can build the sport up and slowly, from the grassroots, build the recognition to a level where a league can then come along and actually make something of it. Because at the moment, as we know, still most people don't know that arm wrestling is a sport. If you, you go up to the average person in the street and ask them if they think arm wrestling is a sport, they're gonna say no, they're not gonna think it's, it's anything the few people out there that might think otherwise. But um, this all ties into what I saw Barb just right there. Barb was talking about getting local stories on a regular basis sent to your local newspapers, reporting results. Um, even it, like I hear, we here in Brisbane, we have a club, the Brisbane Heavy Hitters Club. Now, one thing that I think local clubs can do at every level. Now, I don't know how it's working over there in the US. I know in Australia here, we have state titles, national titles. And a lot of the guys locally, especially new guys into the sport, they don't have the opportunity or the confidence to travel to an interstate competition, travel to the nationals because I think they're going to get their asses handed to them or something like that. So what I think local level clubs can be doing that ties in with what Barb said is we could, let, let, let's say we host, like when I grew up playing tennis, I grew up with Saturday morning comps where... It was a it was a round robin over ten weeks. Uh, everyone was graded into divisions, um, and everyone had a great time playing tennis every Saturday morning. What's to stop local clubs within just a couple like within Brisbane here? The Brisbane heavy hitters could do it, for instance, where we have a round robin over ten weeks where we grade people not on weight or age, but just on ability. We grade people into divisions in the club. Uh, they have a ten week round robin, and look each week. This is what Barb was saying. Each week we can report those results to our local paper, just in a column. There's the results. There's the results. Start to legitimize the sport in our local area. The paper's reporting it every week. Who's the winner of the comps? Who the winner of the comps are? Who the winner of the comps are? Come the end of the 10 weeks uh, of that round robin, you hold a, the finals championship. You take some photos of some action shots of arm wrestlers winning that title, and it gets in the local paper. That local paper then gets that consistent feel they understand that arm wrestling is actually something that happens from week in, week out. No one's laughing anymore because people are seeing it in their local paper every week. Okay, And then when it gets to things like state titles and national titles happen, that's when you can go along as a story and say, hey, local, local, local man wins uh, Queensland state titles. Um, and instead of it being looked at as a novelty story, Okay, it's now looked at as though it's something legitimate and awesome because the paper's remembering that, hey, this is a, is a sport. It's not a novelty. Because how many times, I know I've been in the paper a few times um, for arm wrestling, and almost every time you do it, they make a joke of it. They think it's funny. I've been on, even on national television. I got invited after my wife and I won the national titles um, in 2015. And we got invited to go on uh, the morning show, so a nationally broadcast breakfast news show, and they just wanted to joke. They didn't see it as a legitimate sport. They just wanted to kind of joke around. So from a grassroots level, we've got the opportunity to legitimize this as a sport. Over time, look, it might take a generation for this to happen, but over time, if we legitimize it in towns all around the country, 
U Australia, USA, I'm sure it can be done. Europe, wherever. Legitimize it at a local level. Okay, report on it weekly. Get your clubs into structures. Instead of just turning up and training, get them into weekly round robins for the new guys. Sure, the experienced guys, the world elite guys, you're not going to be needing to compete in that. You guys got it. You guys be the instructors. You guys be the referees. For the local guys that are just starting the sport, they're going to love it. Give them a little plastic trophy at the end of the 10 weeks. They'll be very happy. They'll, they'll probably even pay to be able to have the right to compete in. I know I paid to do a Saturday morning comp. But anyway, guys, we can legitimize this sport from the grassroots up. Um, and like the Grippler said, um, we don't need to get anything from this sport. The current generation of arm wrestlers, we're, we're used to doing this for just for the love of it. And it's and look, I know I'm not going to change no matter what. I love this sport more than any other sport on the planet. And I don't need to be paid from it to want to keep on doing this. But look, if we can hand on to the next generation of arm wrestlers something that um, is legitimate and something that a league can now start to take hold of, like a WAL comes along this time because it's legitimate, it grabs hold a hell of a lot more. Um, then that's a good thing. I think we've then we've done our job for the uh, arm wrestling community. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Um, and thanks to Barb for the uh, local paper uh, strategy as well. Um, and also, guys, if you haven't seen what I'm doing, jump on my YouTube channel, my Instagram channel. I'm doing a project at the moment, social media. The social experiment I'm calling where I'm trying to show you that it can be legitimized through local level promotion where you can get y your own career as an arm wrestler on an individual level. Uh, you can get it paying and you can get it to a point where it's gonna it's actually gonna pay the bills so um, that's where I'm going at the moment and yeah awesome stuff and I'm really excited tomorrow I'm literally going to talk to venues about a super match series uh, with none other than big Justin Bishop so um, should be awesome all right guys thanks for tuning in I'll take care oh, you take care sorry I'll see you next time